Everyone, Amy from more XCOM 2, and we're on our we're starting a new campaign fresh. This will be like our fourth campaign. I didn't we deployed the last that easy grill mission last campaign, and then we like missed our our ambush shots, our like 80% hit ambush shots. Missed someone. We killed the viper. But there's a viper and a sectoid squad that already ran into at the same time. We killed the viper. Sectoid mind controlled like a dead guy, and then mind controlled one of my guys. The zombie was apparently in range. I didn't think he was in range, but it was in range, killing our dudes. We're down like two guys, and I was just so salty. <laughs> I was so salty. I'm like, I can't even do this. We can't even finish this. We're gonna start again. The so last so our like earlier campaign was we focused on research. Last time we focused on finances. We didn't really get far enough for that to pay off. And now this campaign we're gonna be focusing entirely on our soldiers' well-being because. What, we, what I keep running into, the main problem is your soldiers are just so comically incompetent. That was not where you're supposed to go, Novikov. The soldiers are just so comically incompetent. They're not just rookie soldiers. Like, this is not a rookie soldier. This is a man that, this is a lady that has never fired a gun before. That, they're just so bad. <laughs> you, uh, missing these, like, I've missed too many easy shots. Because your percentages are so low. Even if you're... And then with XCOM statistics, that just makes it even worse. Like if I take a 66% hit chance in like Darkest Dungeon or something, I feel confident enough I'm going to hit it. I take that in XCOM, yeah, it's almost never, it's never going to land. With XCOM, I don't know how they calculate the probabilities, but it seems like I did not hit 50%. Actually, 50% actually feels better, probably because I'm way more prepared to miss 50% shot. But like 70% shots, I doubt I hit 70% of my 70% shots. That's affirmative. Either way, what we need to do, because these soldiers are, because these people have never fired guns before and they're so useless at killing things in this mode, in uh, Legend Iron Man, we need to take absolute care of them. Get them some experience. Why didn't you tell me there's a squad over here? Get them some experience so they can fight and kill things and be okay. So they can actually hit targets. Target I know, I know. These guys make up the bulk of There's the sectoids. Yeah, the other troopers. Well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the. Oh, uh, we have to get like way over here. Genetic structure now includes human DNA. Human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Yeah, I know, because they can mind control and also make size zombies and just be really annoying at the same time. Part of that was my fault in last mission, the mission I was complaining about, because uh, he was shaken. The guy that got mind controlled was shaken, so I knew that was a, I knew that was a risk. But yeah, still, I mean, doesn't mean I can't be salty about it. What? Why are you? You don't get spotted, all right? Okay. Oh, before the viper died, they also poisoned, and then the person that got killed by a zombie was the medkit. So we weren't, we weren't gonna be able to get rid of the poison. So then. That character is just a, a, a total garbage. And even if all that didn't happen, the timer is so short and we're never going to be able to get it. Because of course it was a hack the box thing, but the box is in the corner of this building without any access. So they're like, unless maybe if we sprint there through the wall, we'll be able to make it in time. We're just so far away to be able to actually make it. Yo, I can't. I don't want to fight both these at the same time with these soldiers. Because. I've talked about them being bad, remember? So I don't want to fight them both at the same time. So we're just going to keep dancing around with them until they split up and we can just fight one at a time and ambush one of them. Location confirmed. Heading out. Even if we have to take only half cover. There's no way we're going to be able to take both these squads at one time with rookies. Because evidently the resistance does not have firing ranges or something, so they just put these people out there without any firearms training at all. That's the only way I can explain how, like, mind-numbingly bad they are at shooting. They don't have access to special equipment. Cool, they don't have access to abilities. Fine, understand that. They, uh... Have worse aim? Totally, I get it. Less health, even? Sure. But... They don't just have worse aim. They don't just have worse aim against enemies in cover. They have worse aim to dudes standing still in the open, completely unprepared to be attacked. 
<laughs> I can't. Ah, it's so frustrating. All of you. Position confirmed. Away from that squad over there. And then are we ready to go? Ready to fight? Yeah, we can ambush them now. Let's go for it. Got it covered. Eyes on the prize. We're all in bad cover, but we gotta get away from another squad or it's never gonna happen. Like, look at this! 70% shot. Barely over two-thirds of the time, we can hit this guy that's not even... that's having a chat with his friends from, like, what, a dozen feet away? Probably more than that's like 18, 20 feet. Still, it... <laughs> Did you hit them? No one shot that guy? All three of you to go about shot this guy? Kinda wish the... Oh, it's because you missed, so you had to take a shot, okay. Now it's just you, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna flank and then insta kill him and make me super sad? You better not. You're gonna run away and join the other squad. Well, that's another thing they do. Roger. We just have to deal with it. So we can see you, we can't see you. Let's, let's just flip a orientation here. The other guy not join the squad? Where'd he go then? Dude's just gone. There's no officer over here, don't worry about grenades or anything. What about you? You can't get any full guy. Oh, yeah, that's full cover for you. Aritom Novik Novikov. 25, 25. 26, 26. Alright, we're going. Yeah, Alright, perfect. I'm going to take out that cover so we can actually kill one of them. That was. Excuse me? You didn't throw that grenade, you just appeared under that person. 66% against a guy standing out in the open. I would expect no different from rookies. These guys are doing fantastic, though, for these low percentages. Overwatch. You're all in full cover. Uh, double overwatch, I suppose. I don't like it. You need to hunker down more often. Especially just rookie shots. Yeah, I'm missing. Double overwatch. Wow, you hit. These rookies are the best. I don't care, I ain't complaining about how bad rookies are. And then these rookies are actually showing up to work today. Yeah, I'm making our zombie. Alright, we can handle the zombie. Sectoid just has a little bit of health. <laughs> That's the main problem. No one's shaking. We, need to be, we just need to stop <laughs> Stop getting shaken. That's another thing we need to do. Should be far enough away. This time. Now I'm even pretty confident. Even though it was about probably... Yeah, we're probably a little bit closer than that last mission. Where everything went. Nothing went the way it was supposed to go. We have to do a whole bunch of nonsense just to get in position to shoot this guy. I think the answer is yes, yes we do. You can get back here. We just have to shoot the zombie. Probably just have to shoot the zombie and stop him. Ah, oh, it's a terrible shot. They're probably far enough away there. You might not be far enough away from the zombie there. Like I said, focus, soldier's well-being. No chance that I want anyone to get killed by any stupid reason. Whatever, you have a shot at the size zombie, take a shot at the size zombie. You need to kill the size zombie. We have to kill the size zombie. And we can blow up that cover. Can't blow up those portals, we can blow up this cover though. Panic? Don't move towards the zombie. If you panic and run towards the zombie, and get bit by a zombie, run away. Don't run towards the zombie. What are you doing? That's way too close to the zombie. Kill the zombie? Run towards the zombie, and then you miss the zombie. If the zombie walks up and kills you, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> this is gonna be a really sad day for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Did it make it? Did it make it? What's going for you? Can it reach you? These are really fast zombies. Holy cow. All right, well now we need to play kill the zombie. Eighty-five percent. You're literally, <laughs> you're like in melee combat with you. Eighty-five percent chance. There we go. It's down. Okay. Not doing anything too crazy here. And one thing we need to remember when we get to when it comes time to retaliation missions, faceless. There's gonna be faceless. Don't die to the faceless. You don't want anyone to die to anything. Don't get killed by faceless. 
I'll get surprised by faceless uh, sectoids. I'll get him next time. Oh, you're so... you're just... you're annoying. Let's blow up his cover and kill him. You have a grenade. Take out his cover, take off his overwatch, and then we shoot him to death. I like how it hit him. <laughs> I like how it damaged him. I like landed on him, damaged him, and then he reacted. You have to reload. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate timing. 74? Why? What's the occasion? Alright, he's dead. Or maybe these are the soldiers I need. Just had so many people missing ridiculous shots. <laughs> and these people are actually landing those shots. I, I, when I took that shot against that zombie, I had very little confidence he was actually going to hit that thing. But then he did it. The squad isn't letting me down. Back in. Scanning. If I keep these guys alive, at all costs. So if we run into a... So if we run into a... A gorilla mission. And... I mean, we're probably gonna lose because we're not gonna go fast enough. We're probably not gonna go fast enough to complete the mission. At least for the first few, while we get soldiers experience. Because until then, everyone's gonna be so bad. It's just so risky to try to complete these missions. Oh, hello. All right, guess what we do now? You're over there. Super safe. All safety all the time. You up here. We have zero good shots. You can't get anywhere good, like at all. Ouch. I don't want you to be in half cover, so get back there. And I would have everyone hunkered down, but we already have a guy up there not hunkered down. He can't hunker down, so I'm not going to bother. So I might as well try to help him out with some overwatch. Four, whoa, yeah, I thought I missed. Looked like I missed. If we kill his officer, I'm gonna go have a drink. Oh, alright, we didn't kill him. Never mind, I don't get a drink. Yeah, troopers are doing their thing. Overwatching, actually. You marked him and then just went for an overwatch? And you survived, despite being in full cover and getting shot at. Which, from what we've seen, generally isn't as good of a thing as you would, you know, as you would expect. Take out his old watch. Fire in the hole. And then kill him. These grenades are not animating correctly for some reason. If you can get up there and just kill that grenade, that officer, that'd be really nice as well. Kill this trooper. Uh. Get up here and grenade this officer. There's no overwatch. You're in half cover, which is bad, but the guy should not be able to kill you. That You can take out the statue with a grenade? What is the statue made out of? What are these grenades made out of? Okay, but. Oh no, you just put the top part of the statue for some reason. Still seems su suspect. You cannot really get close enough to help, can you? I don't want you to get anywhere stupid crazy. Get up here. We already have a guy in half cover up here. You might as well just uh, consolidate with us. Uh oh. Uh oh. The miraculously did not get hit. I really expected him to at least get hit. I was just hoping for not for not create. That did it destroyed the stick. What are these grenades made out of? Amy, you already have promotion though. Anybody not have promotion? Everyone's promoted, okay. I think everyone gets more damage than the mission experience, but... No reason not to be in the habit of checking. And we hit? Wow, this, this is going suspiciously well. The change in how this is going compared to my... The extremely salty mission I just had. Well, let's get out of here. We just need to be careful. I guess we have to play slowly, even in those grill missions we have to play fast. It's either we play fast and take... it's just so much of a risk to accomplish those missions for us. At least early on in the game when your soldiers are useless. Because we have eight turns to get across the map and interact with something? That's extremely demanding. 
And if we run to a squad and we get held up for a couple turns, that makes it even harder. Hey, Flawless. Makes it even harder to to get that accomplished. And if we are rushing trying to do it and like desperately trying to get a mission accomplished, we're risking throwing away our, our soldiers. Which is why we've been struggling and losing too many soldiers. So we're going to go to an absurd degree of protecting soldiers. We spot something, we run away, get in full cover, we hunker down, we take this slow and steady, and if that means we fail a whole bunch of... If that means we potentially fail guerrilla missions, then so be it. We're not going to be... I mean, I'm not just going to accept failing the guerrilla mission right away. I'm not just going to say, alright, I guess we failed. <laughs> we deployed to a guerrilla mission. Let's not try to beat it. We're going to try to beat it, right? But we're going to prioritize not dying <laughs> over completing the mission. So if I need to put a soldier in a risky position in order to secure the mission, I think we'll just sacrifice the mission rewards and keep our soldiers alive until we have decent soldiers that can actually hit things and ambush and can actually overwatch sometimes, that can actually shoot enemies in half cover. Once their soldiers aim, I have a couple levels can do those things, and then we can worry about actually completing the missions. So I have, I have confidence in this. That's been what we've been running into. I think I think my analysis of our previous our previous campaigns it's been a huge problem, just losing soldiers and not being able to comp, not be able to carry on from there. I know I know what you guys do. <laughs> I don't need the animation every single time. It was cool the very first time. That's long since passed. All right, everyone's done. You got stuff, cool. Let's go through a little bit. We have. Oh, okay, you guys want to talk to me? I got it. We'll we'll do the research. New research. Get uh, the module up and so we can slap looted stuff on there. Michelle was talking about anything I want to build from here right now. I'll probably med kit real soon. Build. The tactics school? Just immediately? Uh, do I have any engineers? I don't think you have any engineers yet. Yeah, no, we don't start with any engineers because that'd be ridiculous. I get that started right away. We will be getting some money as well. We'll be doing money, but like I said, main focus, not having soldiers be murdered all the time because it's, it's terrible. It doesn't work. Investigate, sure, we get some supplies. We have nothing else to do. We need supplies. Starting off with some money is nice. Go. Roll the time. Two. One. Yay, money. Forty. <laughs> That's why I usually just ignore those. Hey, scientist. Perfect. Wow, we're getting really lucky so far. Start off with extra fifty bucks and a uh, scientist. Five for Axis. Didn't they make the game? Sign your research. Absolutely. Module looking upgrade. Don't have any modules yet. Should I just start magnetic weapons? Just two months later, it pays off. Hybrid materials. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority command. No, you did not. Don't. Why would you say that? Because that's not what you did. You probably like this is gonna be really easy. Let's do this. Okay. All right. We're gonna do this next time. But it's easy. It's a one guerrilla mission. If we get an engineer, if we succeed, we're not gonna worry about succeeding though. Actually, protect the device is a pretty easy objective. They're usually normally tough, so I'm confident we can do this one. But. If I have to sacrifice the device to save a soldier, that's what we're going to do. Because our, <laughs> our new strategy for the campaign, protect soldiers' lives at all costs. Anyway, that's going to do this one. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe for more fun. Twitch, share, like, steal, and I'll see you.